Hey everyone, Bridget here, and I got my Tucson Comic Con books back from CBCS. Let's just get into this. Alright, so like I said, I got my Comic Con books here. Uh, I believe there's seven total. Um, so I'm going to cut this open, get them out, and check how uh, they graded. So I'll probably cut here just to keep things streamlined, but we'll be right back. All right, so that took a while, but I got them all out. Um, have not seen the grades on these, so let's see how we do. First book. Now I got my Star Wars here. Uh, Star Wars number 10. I don't expect this one to be super high grade. Um, this is mainly just a PC book I decided to get graded. So uh, yeah, let's see what we got here. An 8 -0. Okay, that's a, in the range I was sort of expecting. Um, it definitely has some, some problems to it, but... PC book signed by Leonardi right here. So very happy with that. About what I expected. I knew it wasn't going to be in the nines. Um, so it has, it has some corner beings and where whatever. That's a personal collection book. Uh, next book, I don't need to hide the grade because this is my... Oh, try to get the invoice out of there. But this is my original art from Mr. James O'Barr. Very nice in the case. I really like the art uh, labels that CPCS has because a grade on these books always seems kind of irrelevant to what they are. So, yeah, very happy about that one. All right, what is this book? We got. Oh, okay, so this is one of my Secret Wars. Yeah, the direct edition. This one was higher grade. Um, not, not Definitely not a 9.8, but in the 9s. And it got very nice. A 9.4. Signed by Jim Shooter right there. Um, this is the main, sort of the main book of the submission, really. Um, so very happy with that. Potentially a little bit higher than I expected. Um, I was thinking 92 was kind of the high range, so very happy with that. Can thank uh, my presser for doing that one justice. All right, I think I have another Secret Wars in here somewhere. Yeah. Let's do that one next. So here is another Secret Wars. This one's newsstand. Uh, this one is lower grade. I know that for certain, but. Signed by Shooter, and it got 6.5. Yeah, that's that's definitely fair. It has some uh, little bends and stuff in the corners and just general rare wear to it. So very fair grade. Um, white pages, which is nice. But my pair of secret ores. All right, what do we have next? This is, oh, my 2099 um, foil cover. Wasn't crest or anything, but I thought it had a chance at a 9.8. Uh, if it doesn't get a 9.8, I actually will be kind of disappointed because I looked over this book pretty thoroughly. Um, signed by Leonardi. And it got a 9.8. Very good. Very happy with that. Um, signed in gold down here at the bottom. And yeah, Origin of Spider Man 2099. Red foil cover. Very nice. Definitely a personal collection book for me. Very happy about that. So I got two more books here. Next up, uh, another 2099. This is a modern variant. I want to say it's a 1 in 25. Uh, Rick Leonardi cover. Signed by him. Again, if this one doesn't get a 9.8, I'll be disappointed. Uh, I did have this one pressed. And it got 9.8. Very happy with that. Uh, just a really, really nice cover signed down here. Uh, Rick Leonardi actually wasn't sure who uh, had done the, the like the post processing work on this. Dan Green, he's never actually met him, um, but he did think the cover looked very nice in its finished form. And yeah, very happy with that. All right, last book. This one should be signed by uh, Brian Polito. This is. Evil Ernie number five, I believe. Yeah, number five. 
very low print run book. This is definitely not a 90 or anything. It's it's sort of lower high grade. Um, has some ticks on the back of it. But presents really nice and very, very low print. Got an 8. Yeah, that's that's about the range. I actually thought it might be 7.5 um, just because of the, the amount of ticks on the back cover. But it's got quite a few. It's all black back there. But very nice personal collection book. Very, very uh, early Lady Death and Evil Ernie. Um, so yeah, very happy with that. And that is everything. That is my whole submission from Tucson Comic Con. Uh, some great books. Very, very happy with that. Uh, no real disappointments in grades either, so that's always a good thing. Um, but yeah, that's everything. Hopefully y'all enjoyed that. And uh, take care, everyone.